Hi right, friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Graham McClay, Sandy Shores, Great Outdoors. And uh, man alive, it's a cold day. It's colder than a well dig Spaniel, I'll tell you that. <laughs> minus 20, we just come through a, an Alberta low here. It's like minus 41 here, the lowest this week. And uh, people's trucks were, people's vehicles were frozen down to the And uh, so I went up on the roof because you got to keep blowing the ice off the roof up here. Can you see my neighbors? chimney over here. See the ice build up and uh, you got to keep that chipped off or it'll uh, snuff out your oxygen to your furnace. And uh, I'm going to shut the door so I don't forget. But uh, yeah it'll shut down your furnace and then you'll get uh, carbon monoxide if you don't get a, a good air flow. Eh? But I was up on the other side of my port and I noticed I've got I noticed I've got uh, I'm going to tip you up. I got my other gold there and stand here, it's not the best. But I'm gonna go up here. I'll show you a couple tips. I got uh, I got some uh, foam, cedar foam. It's supposed to work to minus one. I'm gonna try it. I gotta try it. But what I did is when dad built this port, I hope you can see. When dad built this port, we didn't seal it off very good. And uh, you see the, the frost right here. And you find your, your air leak with a lighter. If it'll work. Right? With a lighter. Watch the flame. So you just go around it and look for it. See it blowing? It blew it out right there. It won't even light. So I'm going to put some foam in there, and because uh, that's where you're losing your heat. And uh, I noticed last winter the birds were uh, staying on the roof, sail on the other side. And uh, so I'm going to put some foam, put some foam in here, and uh, see if it'll help it out. This stuff should work. I'll put it around this electrical junction. I should seal her off. And I want to do the other, there's a giant crack on the other side and uh, now I don't know if this stuff is uh, flame volatile or not but there the flame the flame is still there okay let's go do the other side before this can gets cold and uh, I don't fall down and break my neck I'll do a test on this lower part a little bit I just want to keep my hand on the can here just to keep it warmer a little bit. Come on, give me. Well, that seems good. Okay, let's go around the back. And uh, I got a ladder up there already. I stuffed a towel. When I was up there, I got the towel was all I had. Minus 40 up there, I just a uh, little preventive maintenance. And uh, I got a mess of stuff here. I'll have to just prop you up. But all I had was a, uh, a towel in the cold out of the shop. And do you see the frost line under the uh, under the ladder? I should have put you on my headband, but I uh, I hope it'll now you can see a frost line right here. This comes right up. Mega airflow. So I'm gonna pull out this towel. Holy heck, I can feel the wind. 
there's this there's this two inch gap right there. Uh, do you see the spider web flying around? Oh yeah, big time. Big time. Won't even light the ladder. And uh, if you're inside and you want to find the flow, run your lighter up to where you think the hole is, and the flame will be drawn into the hole. And you'll see it that way too. But I want to fill this thing up. I was wondering why the birds were sitting on the sill here. Oh yeah. Hope there's no birds in there. <laughs> Sorry. That should make a world of difference. Oh heck yeah, you can't even feel the wind now. It is uh, minus 20 out right now, and the can says only minus one, so it uh, it expanded real well. I was really surprised, and uh, I really can't share the name, but uh, it's good uh, good stuff. Sorry if you can't see here yet. I just want to get this done. I'll show you in a second here. Yeah, this summer I got a, all this wood here is going to be a veranda. Just bring it down here and kind of it. I was given a nice 8 by 16 uh, plank deck. 2x6 deck and uh, to make a veranda where it is where I'm standing there right now to that big door. Now the stuff's trying to freeze here. God, there's a one inch gap here. I apologize, you can't hear me here. I'll be uh, right out of that corner in a minute here. going to help big time. I'll keep my hand on the scanner here. And uh, a couple of my windows over here too. Dad put some windows in there a long time ago. They go during tops here they just, you can see the air. You can see the, underneath the awning. The hot air coming out the damn thing. I don't like those windows one bloody bit. I foamed the sills on the inside there were, uh, and uh, it turned out really good. The porch is incredibly warm right now. Steel, I, guess. I think that heat's coming out of the window. I right, to get inside and do the jams. Do the inside uh, the window jam. See there. But, uh, oh, this damn can, this can is going to freeze if I let it down. I'm not really done with it yet. But... Sorry for not uh, minding the camera here. Should have had you on a selfie stick or something. I'll bring it down a tiny bit. Come on down. This is a uh, tripod I got off the neighbor's room. 
Oh hey, how's it going? <laughs> I uh, I just want to put this can inside. Stop that just so it's in the heat a little bit. I wish this darn thing would come off easier. I like my other stand actually better. Okay, let's go take a look. So that's all sealed off. That airflow is gone. Oh yeah, you gotta be in a a monkey suit today. It's oh god, it's cold. There. That's all sealed off now, so cool. There's one inch gap in there, look at that. And we got uh a little bit on the edge there. I kind of want to see here, look at this. That's heat loss. That's heat loss going up the darn window. God darn it. I have to uh, get on that uh, in the summer. I rarely open these windows stupid anyway. Door. It's just silicone the darn thing. It's like royally. And, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I'll get up on the sills. It's dark and you, know, you can barely even see inside, but see the white in the windows? That's, that's heat loss, eh? And, uh, well, not terrible loss, but just hot to cold on the inside, eh? I was always wondering when my darn porch was so cold, darn cold, cold. And then I figured it out, so. Okay, friends, just, uh, tips and tricks. Tips and tricks about winter. If you're living in the south or something like that. I see uh, a couple videos today <clears throat> around uh, around uh, Utah and that. We got snow and that. And this thing here was both of these were uh, frozen up big time. I got my keys right now. I'll try the truck. Both batteries frozen solid. This old boy's been giving me kind of a little bit of issues here. Uh, my dash, it's a shake in here, got no, no base. Uh, the dash would, maybe someone else would know. The gauges won't come on, it'll say check gauges. So obviously that's a Dodge thing because they got check gauges on the, down here. So like, what's, what's the issue with that? And, uh, Oh yeah, girl. And uh, I put the battery tester on the, the battery and I was getting almost 15 amps, 15 volts for charging. And that thing would go up and down, up and down, up and down. Turn the lights on, turn the heater on, whatever. It's showing charging. That got darn needle yesterday with red line, red line to the H. And the gauges are flickering and this and that. I got, uh, I've got some uh, computer panels Rose in the, battery. the back of the truck. I don't know if I got to have matching numbers or what the dickens, but uh, uh, I'm sure I probably have to, but regulator panel. I'm glad this old boy fired up right now. But uh, if you don't like scraping windows and that, there's another tip and trick. There's a button right here. Just push that and it'll clean the window for you. Okay. 
That's why it's called windshield washer antifreeze. It saves you a hundred dollar ticket. But uh, yeah, good. Fire it up. Fire it up. I oh, love it. You locked? No. Yeah, this old boy I've had her quite a while. I got her on the end of the street over there. The back corner was all dinged up. Bumper was bent, tailgate was bent. I pounded it out. I used the port of power in that. Pushed out the uh, the big dent. This whole side was all caved in. The bumper was hit, tailgate was hit. And I cut the bottom off off another one. I painted her up. But what the heck, it's just a truck. 500 bucks I paid for it. And I needed a, uh, what do you call it? Power steering bracket, I think it was. The bolt just fell off and then the, the wheel it rubbed on the uh, on the house on the bolt housing. And uh, I guess the guy got mad at his girlfriend for something like that and he smacked her around a bit and she called the, uh, the authorities and she had to give up a few things. And uh, she claimed the truck, but it had a lien on it for $1,500. And I said, well, I'll buy the thing, right, but get the lien off it. So he got a hold of his mother. She paid the, the lien on it at the, uh, the, the dealer. And uh, it's kind of too bad because it had under, the whole bottom is undercoated with the rock guard stuff. And uh, I found out when I went to one of the Dodge dealers in Edmonton, they said, oh, you got rust on your box in there. She says, that's a recall. And uh, I told them, I said, well, okay, far out. I can get a new box for that, eh? And uh, so they looked into it, whatever, found out the wrong name. Wrong name on the truck. So the guy, I should have got the guy to get a new box put on. And then I, I didn't even, I would have even given him a grand for it, if not a tiny bit more. But uh, I've got the, uh, the rubber skirts, or the plastic skirts. They're brand new, brand spanking new. And, uh, well, I'm just still contemplating on uh, putting them on. But uh, I could cut that out. I've got, I've got metal uh, fenders at the back. And uh, I'm gonna give this guy a drink. Uh, this has 16,000 clicks on it when I got it. There's old, just about 400 thou right now. Get some oil pressure going up there. Oh, that's okay, she fired up anyway. But, uh, yeah. It's been a good old work truck, really. I'm armed, fully alarmed. I put the winch on, the lights and stuff in that. But yeah, I like it. Anyway, I think I'm babbling a tiny bit here, people. Thanks for coming. I'm just teaching you a little bit about uh, winter living. I mean, my hands are so used to throwing tire chains on transports and stuff. My hands have been burnt from the from the the steel and uh, getting kind of not getting very used to it anymore. <laughs> but uh, there you see a little bit of heat loss in the corner of the windows. Man, I gotta get on that. Well, at least I found those. Okay, friends, you thanks so kindly and uh, for watching and. Uh, if you like this thumbs up leave a leave a leave a comment if you'd like and i appreciate that and uh and uh you have yourself a fantastic day and come back again so